coaxed it through it. He went 337 a couple weeks ago, Elizabeth. No, I don't know if no, you knew. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. That would be a school record at University of Florida. Well, <laughs> luckily, he's luckily he's going to University of California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, luckily. So here they come. They're stepping out now for this A final. And let's set the lanes for you. In lane number one, that's Zach Harding, Huntsville Swim Association. In lane number two is Justin Ress, Marlins of Raleigh. Three, Brennan Balo, LinkedIn Select Swimming. Lane four is the top qualifier, Andrew Seliscar. Lane five, swimming and attach, Alex Labed. In lane six, that's Charles Swanson from Nova of Virginia. In lane seven, from Flyers Aquatic Swim Team, that's Nicholas Alexander. In lane eight, Frederick Schubert from Nova, Virginia. So Elizabeth, I gotta tell the, the audience watching at home, your eyes got as big as sausage when I said Andrew Seliscar went 337. He really did do that two weeks ago. That's unbelievable. What is his best time, long course? At uh, 4.16.05. And he's, he's eight, 18 years old, wow. wow. So, you know, 3.37, I, I'm predicting something close to breaking 4.10. I would be so happy if he broke 4.10 tonight. That would be amazing. That's getting up there in Michael Phelps territory, which, yeah. you know, he's been inching closer to that every single year anyway. So we'll see how he does here in this A final. So Seliscar, a great 200 flyer. So he's obviously going to really push the pace on this butterfly. I think he's kind of equivalent to what Michael Phelps is in the butterfly. He really looks so smooth and just effortless in his butterfly. And yet he goes phenomenally fast. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, I think if there was a weak stroke, it would be his backstroke. It's not, it's not great, but then of course, I think he can go under 140 in a 200-yard backstroke. So it's not saying it's weak, right. but it's the weaker of his four. And you know, at Nation's Capital, when he works when he works there with John Flanagan, they work on all four strokes and they have been all the time. So they don't really have the time to, to really say, I have a specialty. And obviously if you're gonna do a great four and I am, you have to be even in four strokes. So we're gonna see how Andrew's pace here is. I think he's gonna to have to be in the 57 range. And he's right on at 57, 48 after the butterfly. Running right with them, Brennan Balo, who is a backstroker, so I think Andrew probably knows that, so he's probably going to try to see if he can outsplit Brennan on this backstroke leg. Again, just nice and smooth. So, smooth. so smooth. Like, that's exactly what you need in a foreigner I am. He's not expending too much energy. He's going to know that he has enough in the tank to come home in the last hundred, and he's about to go really fast. He's going to push off the wall and see a split. Yeah. Of, of course he is. So yeah, he's 130.66. If he sees that, he knows he's probably on a good pace. Again, if he's going to negative split this, he's going to have to come in under 33. And that'll put him at 203, which is really good. Really good opening 200. He's taking a look, yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. He's got to know he's well ahead. But again, he knows Brendan is a backstroke. He just wants to make sure he's not creeping up on him too much. And then Selscar, I don't know if you know, He's been 151 in the 200-yard breaststroke, so he's no slouch in breaststroke either. Also a school record in Florida. <laughs> wow. So he's at 203.74 at the 200. And again, he looks great on his breaststroke. I gotta tell you, his pullouts, probably, like you, you, his pullouts are probably better than his actual swimming. He pulls out to about the 13-meter mark usually on his pullouts. I don't know if he'll do that in 400 a.m., but he's got great, great pullouts. Again, he does look like he's just kind of warming down, but I know he's putting in a lot of effort. I mean, 30, 35 6, that is so fast. 35 6 on that 50. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what Lochte and Phelps, I think, were going in 2008. I think they were splitting like 109, 108. Yeah, when, when Michael broke the world record, it went 403. Folks at home, you're watching someone as good as Michael Phelps. I hope you know that. He's amazing. The national age group record for the 17 18 age group is by Michael Phelps. 40909 from 2003. Andrew Seliscar knows it, I'm sure. 
and he's putting in everything he can to make sure he gets really close to that. 315.83, so he's got to come back in a 54. Ah, that's tough to do, but he knows it. He's trying. But again, his lifetime best is 416. He's gonna get. The, he's gonna break that. Well, let's get this battle for second place here. We got lanes number three, five, and six. Lane three, Brennan Balo. Five, Alex Labed. Six, Charles Swanson. Those two are battling for second. But 10 meters ahead is Andrew Seliscar, and he's just battling. He's going for it. He's got. He's right on his lifetime best here. I thought he was gonna try to get under a minute. But I think he's, you know, just hasn't had the long course training. Right, and I right. think, the, you know, he doesn't have the, the, the strength and the capability right now to be able to challenge it. I bet you this summer he's going to do some awesome things as forward I am. 4.16.51, just five tenths slower than his lifetime best. Still a great swim after you. That's absolutely incredible. He just won by eight, over eight seconds. Second place to... Charles Swanson from Nova, Virginia, 424-44. Alex Labed was third, 424-75. And then Brennan Balo, third, 426-75. Yeah, I, I thought going in he was going to be a little bit faster, but I just think he's got to get that he's got to get that training in to be able to finish because he was out fast, 203. Yeah. And I think he just it just isn't there yet. But I think he knows that and he's got to be pretty pumped by it. And to be at a best time at March. The first long course meet of the year is, it's gotta be a huge confidence boost for him going into this summer. And I think he's gonna be really happy about, about where he is right now because a lot of his best times have been coming in short course yards this season, which obviously he's been putting in the training for. Um, except for his 100 breaststroke last night, he went 101, and just to shock you again. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, you know, so Andrew, Andrew Seliscar is on his way and I'm sure the the Golden Bears out in Berkeley are really excited about what he's doing right now, and they're really excited to be having him in the fall. Well, Elizabeth, it's been great talking to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. This is awesome. And have a safe drive back to Gainesville. I will. Thank you very much.